this. This right here pisses me off more than anything else in Call of Duty World War II. Love the game, great game. I, I really enjoy it. I'm still gonna be playing and whatnot. And I guarantee you, I am not the only one that is experiencing this. And seriously, this happens probably nine games out of 10. Seriously, this pisses me off so much. You can see here, you're not watching me play. I'm trying to spawn in, right? We, we join a brand new game. The score still says it's, you know, it's five to nothing, whatever it may be. And I'm trying to spawn in. All my friends are spawned in and finally right there, 34 seconds into the game, I spawn in. That is ridiculous. I think a lot of my frustration with this comes from the fact that Call of Duty, and, you know, they're going ahead and they're releasing some more DLC, which is great. That's awesome. The new Resistance DLC, which we all know came with, you know, is coming out with uh, a couple more multiplayer maps, new zombies map, new war map, some new weapons. I'm sure there's going to be some more, you know, camos and skins and, you know, just like the Winter Siege event. Very cool stuff. I love that fresh content coming in. I love the, uh, the events that they host and whatnot, and that's fantastic. I am not here to tell you that that's not great. But this should be a, this should have been fixed probably week one, right? This game, by you know, no doubt in my mind, and I'm sure that a lot of the community will agree with me. Uh, by the way, I skipped ahead here in the gameplay. This gameplay is actually pretty sweet. I actually um, am on top of the cannon, and uh, I get a pretty nice kill streak going, a nice little rhythm uh, going as well, just sniping, trying to get my uh, gold uh, car 98k. But regardless, back to what I was saying. They're releasing new DLC, fantastic. But this game had probably the rockiest and the, the worst launch in the history of any Call of Duty game. At least that I can remember. The servers were awful. It was impossible to connect with games, let alone if you had some friends online. Impossible to go ahead and uh, and, and you know party up and get into games. They fixed that for the most part. That's fantastic. I really do appreciate that. But this spawn issue, I understand that they're trying out new servers, dedicated servers, yada yada yada, which is fantastic. I'm I'm, I'm really glad that we're kind of migrating toward that. But at the same time, if I can't spawn into a game, that's crazy. That's crazy. I beat this campaign. The campaign is great. The zombies is cool. Don't, don't be wrong. But multiplayer is the reason why a majority of people buy this game. And if you can't fix the fact that it takes 30 seconds, if not more sometimes, to spawn into a game, that is ridiculous. In my opinion, that's ridiculous. Why work on DLC? Why work on other things in the game? You know, weapon balancing is important. I'm glad that they are working on that too, because we all know that the STG, when this game first came out, was nuts. We all know the bar um, during the beta was <laughs> was literally a laser weapon. It was amazing. But regardless, obviously we know that, of course, they're going to go ahead and work on the DLC. Fine-tune the DLC, make sure the maps look great, make sure the new weapons look fantastic, whatever it may be, because that's what's going to bring in some more money. I am not calling out the developers in any way, shape, or form. I'm just saying, hey, look, fix the spawns in this game. Not necessarily where you spawn, but the fact that it takes literally sometimes a minute to spawn into the game to begin with. Especially, not really the pro players, but I've been playing Call of Duty for longer than I can, I, I, you know, I started playing Call of Duty 3, so way back then, right? That was at least 10 years ago, if not more, I gotta, I gotta really like do the math here, but regardless, i played countless number of Call of Duties, I've been a really big fan of the series, ex with the exception of Advanced Warfare, Infinite Warfare, whatever it may be, but this is the only game that is having this issue, and I'm not some engineer, but at the same time, I, if I spend this much money on a game and they expect me to buy the season pass or if I didn't buy the season pass and pay for the individual DLCs and give more money to the developers, wouldn't it make sense for the, uh, the spawning in in the beginning of the game to actually work? It is nuts. And I've been trying different theories. I've been trying different methods to go ahead and, uh, you know, spawn in when that happens. I've heard that if you, uh, continue to press A on the Xbox or X on the, uh, PlayStation, um, that that will help spawn you in faster, but ultimately, I actually haven't tried, like, I actually haven't seen success with that. I've also heard that if you hold down B, um, on the Xbox, that, and circle on the PlayStation, that that will help spawn you in faster, but that's just not true. It is unbelievably annoying when that happens. I just can't get over that, guys. Seriously. At first, I gave it a shot. I was like, you know what? They're probably gonna fix this soon. You know what? Let's just wait it out, see what happens, but there's been no addressing of that whatsoever. 
Michael Contry, the lead support um, uh, community manager, I should say, for the developers, they, you know, he, he does a great job reaching out to the community, interacting with the community, making sure that we know that weapon balancing is on the way. We know about the new DLCs, about new events coming up, but not once has he mentioned it, that they're, they're trying to fix this. And yes, I know, guys, I know that 30 seconds doesn't seem like a big deal here, Zeb, but at the same time, on that same token, for people that work, you know, that have separate jobs, you know, like myself, working nine to six, when I get home, you know, I have time to play, you know, a couple games, whatever, I don't want to spend you know, a good fraction of that time waiting to spawn in. It is absolutely nuts. When the game first came out and everyone started, you know, flocking to Call of Duty World War II, they're all picking up their games, the servers were overloaded, that's one thing. But now we're a couple months into the game, into the lifespan, you know, we're about to get um, announced a new Call of Duty very soon for 2018, which I'm super pumped to hear about. Um, and at the same time, these, you know, this issue still isn't fixed. You also saw it too in the beginning of the game. When I did spawn in, I spawned in and I picked up the Sten, the, the DLC weapon, which I love. I'll get into a uh, detail of that into a new video um, here in a little bit on my channel. But it is absolutely ridiculous for me to spawn in with the Sten and it's invisible, right? I mean, if you spend so much time releasing DLCs for people to buy and spend more money with your business in this case and your you know development uh, uh, team, at least have a solid game and have a you know, flawless mechanical game. The weapon balancing is always going to need work. That's not, you know, no one can expect that to be perfect even a couple months into the game. But at least let me spawn in, in the beginning of the game. Anyway guys, that is the end of the video. I am sorry I went off on a little rant there. It's just been bothering me for the last couple months. I really want to make a video. I want to know what you guys think too. If you guys have found a fix for this by pressing some buttons or doing whatever, let me know in the comment section down below. And uh, yeah, just let me know guys, because this is super annoying. Again, different kind of style of video. I'll be back to making some more tips and tricks and guides and whatnot here in a little bit. Top box is the previous video like always, and the bottom box is a mystery video just like always. So uh, give those two um, a check out. Make sure you go follow me um, on Twitter at Zevadar. I live stream so many times a week and I update my Twitter to reflect that properly. So give, give that a uh, shot. And uh, yeah, guys, thank you guys so, from, so much for watching. I really appreciate it and uh, peace out.